Puppy! It doesn't like me. Well, fine. What? What? Urf! Urf! Oh, you're not very nice. Fine, I will pet you then. Screw you. I'm not gonna pet you. Asshole. What up, guys? So, um, oh man, this is just a, <laughs> this is a long day. Um, I'm running errands all over the freaking place. I leave tomorrow to go to Vegas. Um, so I'll be home for a few weeks. Unfortunately, I cannot bring the bike. Um, I was thinking about seeing if my brother-in-law, what's up, in the back of a truck. Um, that's highly illegal here. Uh, but anyways, I was thinking about seeing if my brother-in-law will let me ride his, uh, his CBR 1000. Maybe I do a vlog in Vegas. But honestly, I just, I think I'm going to be way too busy. Uh, this isn't a typical trip in Vegas. This is um, actually for my wedding. So I'm finally getting married. Uh, it's just been a crazy ride to get here. The cost of this is like, you don't realize how expensive a damn wedding is until you like actually start going through the planning. And like, and the funny part is, is I've done hardly anything like compared to, I mean, I've done a lot, but I've done hardly anything compared to my fiance and my mom. Um, like they've both just done so much and I've just really done absolutely nothing uh, compared to them and I still think it's expensive as fuck so it's just expensive we'll just we'll just leave it at that um, but anyways there's a lot of shit that's got to get done before we go since we're going for two weeks so I won't probably have any vlogs out for two weeks I am going to be doing kind of like an overall video of our trip though um, so you know that will be up but as far as actually riding or anything like that eh, probably not gonna get anything up for a couple of weeks um, actually probably more like three weeks because once I get back that's two weeks from now I still got a ride um, so yeah I don't know but anyways um, one thing that I was going to say is I got myself a wedding present yeah I got myself a wedding present could suck it people <laughs> um, I got a Ducati monster for a rebuild I'm super excited about it it's a 2003 I got the thing for dirt dirt cheap and um, I'm gonna be rebuilding it it doesn't run right now uh, I think it's got a fuel line issue it's either the fuel pump or I'm not really sure what but basically it kind of turns over um, it tries, it gets extremely close, sometimes it will turn over and start, but then it immediately dies. So, it seems like it's not getting fuel. So, I'm going to work on that. I got it completely torn down right now, um, and I'm going to be powder coating the frame, um, a bunch of other parts on it. It's going to be a black and red Ducati scheme. Uh, right now it's like silver. So it's, it's just going to be a really, really freaking awesome build. I'm just super excited to have the opportunity to build and work on a Ducati. Um, kind of like the Ferraris of motorcycles. It's definitely kind of like learning a new language as well. Like when I was tearing it down, you know, things are different. <laughs> things aren't where they would be on your Yami or on your uh, Cowie. They're, they're different. They're made differently. Things work differently. So it, it is like learning a new language. And now I understand why um, Ducati mechanics are also, you know, a little bit, well, I don't want to say higher skilled mechanics, but they're different mechanics. You, uh, you can get a Ducati certification to work on specifically Ducatis, and that's what their dealerships require. And um, I, I understand why, because they are they are a different bike. I didn't really get that before, but um, I do now. They're, they're definitely a different bike.
a little chilly out today. This is a. Uh, this is my only form of transportation right now. I sold my car. Kind of a fluke thing with that. Just uh, t someone posted on a local page asking if anyone was selling my exact type of car. And it was kind of like, well, everything has a price. You want to pay me that? You can have it. And sure enough, he did. So my, uh, my VW is gone. Probably get a truck closer to winter. But for the summer, I'm riding this. Uh-oh. Should have ran, dude. Should have ran. Can you imagine a run from the cops in a huge Dodge 2500 Ram? <laughs> Can't really lane split with that. You can just bulldoze people out of the way. Out of the way. It is one thing though about riding this motorcycle for just errands and stuff. It's pretty damn convenient because I can get through traffic a lot faster. I can get where I'm going a lot faster. And that is really nice. But when it's a little chilly like today, I think it's only like 42 degrees. Um, it, the low was like 31 overnight. We had frost this morning. It's like fucking June basically. near a mirror it's like a new Maxima too he's already knocked the mirror off good god the hell is this person randomly slamming on their brakes for and your gas can popper thingies open Gas can popper thingy. I can't talk today. I don't trust this guy. This guy drives like a fucking idiot. Just slams on the brakes. Whoa. That is one bright shirt there, my friend. Holy cow. I look over, it's like a fucking highlighter sitting in the fucking seat of that truck. I really, I just don't understand traffic. It's like if everyone would just keep going instead of randomly tapping their brakes. We wouldn't have traffic. Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Alright, that's enough of that. That's enough of that shit. This is a, uh, a good spot, right? Next to the bicycles. All the bicycles. Bicycles everywhere. Thank <laughs> you. 